B-52 Strato Fortress Bomber wrapped in orange striping, what's up in order to improve air capabilities in the future, the US Air Force US Air Force seems to have started conducting a series of tests. This is evident from the official photo released by the US Air Force when the Boeing Long Range Bomber, the B-52, had just landed at Parkside Air Force Base in late September. Uniquely, the aircraft appeared to be wrapped in orange in some parts of the aircraft. In the photo, the orange parts include, the front fuselage, the wing parts near the wingtips, the nacelles, or engine covers of the aircraft and the tails. Not without meaning, some parts of the aircraft are painted orange as a sign that the aircraft is being tested. Reported from theaviationist.com, the aircraft will later be given the tail markings OT and 49 TES after the aircraft returns to Barkside Air Force Base, Louisiana. The test orange scheme is used to remind everyone of the B-52's incredible journey and the continued progress made in the U.S. Air Force. The U.S. Air Force wrote in the caption of the official photo released. As mentioned, the aircraft will be given the tail marking 49 TES, meaning the aircraft is part of the 49th Test and Evaluation Squadron, which leads operational testing for bomber aircraft. Later, the US Air Force will perform a series of upgrades on the B-52 and ensure that the fleet will remain in US Air Force service until 2050, which is almost approaching its 100th anniversary since serving the US Air Force. Starting from the engine, radar system, to the display in the cockpit will be completely replaced with a more advanced version. For the engine, the US Air Force will embed the Rolls-Royce F-130 engine capable of providing thrust ranging from 18,000 to 20,000 lbf pound force, depending on the variant and configuration, to replace the Pratt & Whitney TF-33 PW-103. Then in terms of avionics, the B-52 will later use the APG-79 AESA radar, the same as that used by the F-A-18F Super Hornet. Increasing the range and situational awareness of the B-52 while providing space for additional electronic warfare capabilities is a point targeted by the US Air Force. From inside the cockpit, the B-52 will have a new multifunction digital display, a mechanical-to-digital hybrid throttle system, a new data concentrator and an improved engine management system. This series of upgrades also affects the number of crew on duty, it will be only 4 crew previously 5 crew. If there are no obstacles, the plan is that the system integration and a series of upgrades will be completed in the 2026-2027 period and will start operating fully around 2028-2029.